Good evening. Welcome to the Gothic Bohemian Salon. So I'm going to continue with um, just the uh, anecdotes and uh, thoughts I have about um, my own Gothic experience um, and my, uh, my own personal history with that as well. So I sort of left off um, with uh, my mom and I watching horror films together and stuff like that, I think, and uh, all the um, things that influenced my generation as we were growing up, uh, the Addams Family, the Munsters, Batman, the Avengers, um, um, Vampira, etc. and so forth. Um, so basically, we were primed and ready for um, <laughs> for this uh, wonderful dark. magical uh, scene that was going to explode on us pretty soon. Um, so when I was 15 and 16, I met some uh, girls in my art class who were one grade ahead of me, and they were punk rockers, and they introduced me to punk rock um, via uh, secret tapes um, made for me and, and slipped to me. So they made me some tapes and they had a lot of uh, all kinds of different stuff on it really, but a lot of punk rock of course, but then uh, she also included, um, it was my friend Hillary uh, who did most of it, um, she included uh, Ultravox and John Fox who was the lead singer of Ultra Ultravox who went on to some other things. Um, possibly well, I know Sham 69 was on there, and The Stranglers, and The Clash, and stuff like that, and I believe I've talked about this part before, so if I'm repeating myself, I apologize. But um, from there, uh, you know, basically I started wearing clothes like what I saw in that book that I mentioned, uh, 1977 and 1988. It had pictures of Susie and some of the other uh, proto-goth uh, people, so uh, when her hair was still pretty short um, and her look was uh, still pretty kind of new wavy, I guess, uh, kind of punk, um, I started wearing uh, the white men's shirt with fishnets and little white socks and ankles, uh, chains around your ankle, and really high-heeled shoes, and um, uh, what else? Um, chains, uh, necklaces, and you know stuff like that. Kind of like the the necklaces, the um, chokers that you wear now. Your uh, your uh, slave collars, uh, and leather jacket if you had one, you know, kind of thing. I used to change my clothes on the way to school and then change back on my way home, like uh, probably lots of kids do nowadays. Uh, oh, and I wore um, white, white face makeup with um, little things drawn on it because uh, th there wasn't as much of a line between the various um, genres as there is kind of today. I, I don't know if there's that much of a line today either, but, um, you know, punk rock and new wave really weren't that uh, different from each other. They weren't, you know, there wasn't like this wide um, river between them or anything. So you'd, uh, you'd wear some, you know, you'd wear badges and you'd draw things on your face like the new romantics, um, uh, you'd put colors in your hair, you'd uh, have an unusual haircut, you know, um, stuff like that. And because it was so new, people really didn't understand it at all. They weren't used to it. They hadn't seen it for 20 years like they have now, or 30 years like they have now. Um, we, 
you know, used to cause traffic accidents crossing the street. I mean, people were staring. People would, um, and this got worse as time went on because I got much more outrageous in the way that I dressed and looked. Um, we would literally cause traffic accidents and people would stop and want to take our pictures or they just take our pictures without asking or they want to take pictures with us if they were bold enough to ask. Uh, we were as much of an attraction on Hollywood and Sunset Boulevard as, uh, you know, Grauman's Chinese Theater at one point, really. Um, they, um, I got a job at a restaurant that was just a couple doors away from a place called Fiorucci. And Fiorucci was a very hip, um, chic store uh, from Italy that had uh, really cool new wavy kind of stuff. And what happened was they um, had an ad in the paper uh, for uh, to, to try to drum up business um, for free espresso if you brought in this coupon. So I started hanging out at Fiorucci. I'd, I'd bring these coupons in and get espresso, which must have made me just like babble like a loon. Uh, I'd asked my parents to drop me off at my job like an hour earlier than I was supposed to be there and then I would change my lipstick I thought I was so I thought I was so cutting edge with this lipstick because it was like an orangey color it was like not a color that you saw on people at all you know and I put a little bit of makeup on this lipstick or whatever and I tousle my hair uh, and make it look more like Debbie Harry's and uh, you know I'd wear my gutter snipes t-shirt that I'd made myself, um, <laughs> like I'd painted myself, a uh, white t-shirt, not black, because not quite there yet, um, and I used to hang out there. Well, somebody very interesting worked at Fiorucci, and his name was Patrick Maida, and he was the lead singer of a band called Community FK. Now, I'm not sure if Community FK was together yet. Um, I think they were uh, that early, but um, I was 16 years old and Patrick was a little bit older, uh, 18, 19, and um, I just had never seen anybody like that. He wore pale makeup and eyeliner and dressed in these really interesting clothes, kind of like a kind of new romantic-y, I guess, in a way. He had this really interesting haircut. I don't, I don't think he had color in it, uh, or it may have been black or something like that. And there was also a woman that worked there uh, who was quite, quite unusual as well. She was about five feet tall, but she always wore these um, like six inch heels. And she'd wear uh, kimonos, little short kimonos. So they were like mini skirt kimonos and these tall heels. And then she had curly blonde hair that was bleached blonde that just came out and it was gigantic and very interesting makeup. And these two people were just the most interesting, unusual people that I had ever met in my life. Uh, and that kind of opened some doors later. So I'll tell you about that in another installment of um, my gothic life. <laughs> um, and until then, uh, thank you so much for joining me in or the Gothic Bohemian Salon. Thank you so much, and good night.